All right. So we have this question. An atom X has three electrons more than the noble gas configuration. So first, we have to understand this particular term that is noble gas configuration. And again, there's one more term in that that is what your noble gas. So noble gas is very simple. You know that uh, these are what noble gases: helium. Then it is what neon. Then it is what argon. Then it is what krypton. Then it is what xenon. And then it is what radon. Okay. So th this is what your helium. Helium is what you know. So helium is what two. Neon is what here two and eight. And argon is what your two eight and eight. This is the electronic configuration because helium has what two electrons. So in first shell two electrons. Uh, neon has 10 electrons, so in first cell, 2 electrons, and maximum number of electrons in first cell uh, not greater than 2, so you have to put 8 electrons in what? Second cell, okay. Argon, we have what? 18 electrons, so in first cell, maximum capacity 2, done. Second cell, maximum capacity 8, done. 2, 8, it is what? Up to this point, 10 electrons we have filled. Now we have more 8 electrons, so we, we will put these 8, 8 electrons in what? Your third cell, okay. So this is what your these, these configurations are what noble gas configuration and you know these gases are very stable they usually do not react okay usually do not react there are very few compounds of these noble gases are there okay so we can say that usually they are what usually they do not react and why they do not react uh, why they do not react noble gases maybe because of this stable configuration because of this what stable configuration okay so every element every ele element wants to achieve somewhat this this stable configuration okay so by losing or by gaining electron now see this x now x has three electrons more than the noble gas okay now take one example and then we will able to understand this particular uh, and this particular statement uh, suppose any sodium so sodium has what one more electron more than what neon and if you see the configuration of sodium it is what two eight and what one two eight one and it has one more electron than its nearest noble gas configuration its nearest noble gas configuration so what sodium will do Sodium wants to achieve its nearest noble gas configuration, so it will what lose electron, and when it will lose electron, it will become what Na plus and plus what electron. So it is losing one electron. That is that one electron is more than its nearest noble gas configuration, and by losing that electron, what it is doing, it is it is forming what Na plus and plus what electron. And now, now, if you see the configuration of this Na+, plus, this is what again, what, 2, 8, okay. So, now, this X has what, 3 more electrons than, more than the noble gas configuration, okay, okay. So, if it has 3 more electron than the noble gas configuration, all right. So, so, it will lose what, it will lose what, 3 electrons, okay. It, it will lose what, 3 electrons. And when it will lose 3 electrons, so, X plus 3 plus three electron it will form what this particular cation this particular cation okay just to uh, give you an uh, information that if x has one more electron than the noble gas configuration it will form what x plus plus electron okay if it is a two electron it will lose that two electron and uh, it will again gain what achieve this nearest noble gas configuration and if it has three electrons so it will be what x plus three and plus three electron but but if suppose it has seven more electron so in that case it will, it will not lose seven electron okay if it has seven more electron than nearest noble gas configuration like 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 what chlorine okay so what you have to do in that case it will what gain electrons so i mean please remember okay this this particular whatever it is losing electron whatever these elements are losing electron when it has what either one or two or three more electrons than its nearest noble gas configuration okay if it is more then it will what gain electron okay suppose it is what chlorine 17 so wh what it will do it will what gain electron to achieve its nearest noble gas configuration and in that in that case it will form what 
anion okay anion this this chlorine is what the configuration is what two eight seven and it has what seven more electron than than this neon and if you want to achieve the nearest noble gas configuration for this chlorine so you have to add one electron and what about this cl minus so the configuration of cl minus is what two eight eight that is its nearest noble gas and that is what your argon okay that, that is what your argon okay so now we are done now it's now it's pretty simple an atom x has three electrons more than the noble gas configuration all right so it will lose three electron and it will form what x3 plus so what type of ion will it form so the ion will it form will be what x plus three and that will be of course cation okay now write the formula now it's very simple you know sulfate so one by one we will see one by one we will see so first we have what sulfate first we have what sulfate so sulfate is basically you know sulfate it's s O four and this is what your two minus okay and we have what x plus three so what what you have to simple x plus three and S O four take it in a bracket because it's a complex anion okay so it is it, it is what S O four and th this is what your two minus okay so what you have to do just you have to take care of magnitude part okay uh, don't worry about the sign just okay so cross multiply it. To get the formula, so what it will be? It will be like X two, and this is what your SO four, and this is what your three. Okay, whatever the name of this element, so you can name also the name of the element, whatever it is, and then it is what sulfate. Then it is what sulfate. Okay, the next one is what your next next one is what your nitrate. Okay, so next one is what your nitrate. Again, you know nitrate. Nitrate is what your NO three. Minus NO three minus. Okay, so if it is NO three minus, okay. So what we have to do? Uh, simple. Again, the same procedure. X is what your plus three, and this this is what your NO three, and this is what your again minus one. So again, what what you have to do? You have to cross multiply it, and if you cross multiply it, this is this is what your X NO three whole 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 thrice. Okay, so. This is again what the name of that particular element, and then uh, then you can add what nitrate here. Okay, the third one, third one was what phosphate. Okay, phosphate. What is phosphate? Uh, phosphate is what? Phosphate. Phosphate. Okay. So phosphate is what? PO four three minus. Okay. So what to do again? The same procedure. Write it. X plus three. PO four three minus. Then what? Cross multiply it, and if you cross multiply it, what you will get? X three and PO four whole thrice. Okay, and whenever you have these numbers, and when there there is a possibility to, you know, uh, there is if there is some kind of HCF is there. Suppose three three, the HCF is what? HCF is what? Three. So you divide it by HCF. Okay, so three upon three, and then three upon three. So it will be what again? X. PO4. This will be the formula. Okay, you can apply this concept here also. Two and three. So what what is the HCF of two and three? It is what one. And when you will divide these by one, no effect. Okay. Again, you can see this here. A one and three. What is the HCF again? One. No effect. Okay. It will be same. That is X NO3 whole thrice. Okay. So, but in this case, this is what three and three. So first find HCF and divide. This particular values, this these values by the HCF of these values. Okay, so that th then you will get the final formula. Okay, now the fourth one again very simple. Fourth one is what? Uh, what is that? Carbonate. Okay, fourth one is carbonate. Okay, so it is what carbonate. You know carbonate. What is carbonate? It is what CO three two minus. Okay, and if it is CO three two minus, it will be what X again same concept. CO3, CO3, and it is it is what two minus again cross multiply it. So when you will cross multiply it, you will get what X2 CO3 whole thrice. That is some element, and then it is what carbonate. And the last one is what your hydroxide. Hydroxide. Last one is what your hydroxide. It's again very simple. It is what OH minus, and again same procedure X plus three. OH minus one, cross multiply it, and you will get what X OH whole thrice. 
So I think, hope you understand this concept.